Great thing about these videos is you have no idea if I'm wearing pants or not. Yeah. Minnesota Fighting Vikings this offseason have been all about that O-line, that O-line, that O-line. No treble, and they added another one in center. Cole Cabral claimed off of waivers from the Houston Texans. Background, 6'5", 304, was a three-year starter at Arizona State and a team captain. Now remember, Marvin Lewis had been the Arizona State assistant to the regional head coach Herm Edwards for a while there, uh, while Cabral was with the Sun Devils. So maybe he and Zim got the 4-1-1 on Cabral. They only allowed three sacks over three seasons. Was a solid pass protector, only a 2.9% pressure rate as a senior in 2019. When undrafted in 2020, he was Dane Brugler's number eight center in his rankings, but got lost in the shuffle. Here's the Lance Zerline scouting report from NFL.com. Quote, he has both center and tackle experience, but will likely be considered solely as an interior lineman. Possesses average size and good balance. Plays with a wide base at the point of attack and up to the second level as a run blocker. He finds early positioning, but too often fails to follow through as a finisher. He's capable in pass protection, but needs to be quicker and more accurate with his punch. Cabral has backup center guard ability, but could be asked to do more at some point. End quote. And he was in camp with the Rams last year and was on the practice squad before joining the Texans, who let him go as they continue to shuffle the roster. Vikings now have 15 players on the offensive line heading into OTAs, 88 players on the 90-man rooster. And I think at best, Cabral could compete with Mason Cole and Kyle Hinton as that nouveau Brett Jones type swing interior offensive lineman playing some center, playing some guard, etc. Now, I do like Kyle Hinton's ceiling. I think that he could be a force if given the time of day, but Cabral is solid. I do like his size. I think he's got a good anchor. He's got decent movement skills, and I absolutely love having competition at every single level of this team, especially the offensive line, because for too long, it was just like, okay, so coaches are going to play favorites and blah, 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 blah. But now, I think we're at a point where not even even Rick Dennison can just be like, hey, Dakota Dozier, you're going to start. Because 1 through 15, sorry, 1 through 13 on the offensive line, they're tough. They're rough uh, rough and tumble and ready to go. They're going to push each other. Iron sharpens iron, and everyone is going to be made better because the co- caliber of player on this roster, especially up front, is improving. So I like it. I love it. And I, I know a lot of people are like, who? When you go Cole Cabral, don't write these guys off, man. Maybe Cabral impresses. He's got a full off season. He's got full training camp. He's got a full preseason. Maybe a guy like Cabral. Maybe a guy like Hinton. Maybe they actually impress. Maybe they make the roster. Maybe something else down the road. Who knows? But Cole Cabral, welcome to the Vikings. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Be your thoughts. Vikings claim center Cole Cabral from the Texans off of waivers. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most part that work. Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.